Hey guys, Triptych here. I just wanted to do a quick video for the benefit of the other modders in the fleet operations community. So this is a project that I've been working on for some time in the background. This is the ODF generator with the information for fleet operations 327. And uh, I work on it every once in a while when I have spare time, but I gotta be honest, if, if left just to me, I will finish this probably in about six months <laughs> like it's it's a slow project however it's he it's reached the point where it's simple enough that if you guys wanted to work on it yourselves you could probably help out so i'm going to post this on google drive and I, i'm going to consider that my like my main version moving forward so if you guys do want to make any changes uh, you can just log in and, and start working on it um, so just an introduction to the code itself there are three main sections to it. There's the ship database, which you see here. There's the modifier database, and there's the weapon database. So I've put these in, in my own order. They're no longer in alphabetical order. Um, they're in order of, oh, look at that. Um, these are in order of um, smallest to largest, so it goes small ships with short range, medium range, long range artillery, and then it goes medium ships, short range, medium, long artillery. And it also sorts by uh, passives and it also sorts by race. So basically, as you can see here, every ship has tags. Uh, actually, I can do that, get rid of that line. And then I also separate them with these little horizontal lines, but that's just a formatting thing. So yeah, every ship is is populated in the left here, and then it has a number of tags associated with it if they those tags happen to change anything. And then offense, defense, and system value, speed, crew, resistance, which is just an empty field for this, and then the number of specials for the nanofabricators. So I've determined that crew and system are not needed for fleet operations. There are no stats that go off of them. Um, and offense is used, and that's what I've been calculating. And then defense, I think defense just needs to be added from the tooltips at this point. I think that's the fastest way to do it. So that is the number one project that you guys could work on if you want. All you would do is you would just open up the, uh, you know, the. Uh, data, uh, you know, the tooltip file, slap it in UTF, and, and just like go down the line and like check the defense value, you know, check the uh, defense tooltips. You could also do this in game or however you want to do it. Like, but that is one thing you guys could do is just go through and get all the defense numbers and just populate them in this column by hand. Um, that's just a thing you can do um, and that would move the project forward and then like I say honestly the system values and the crew and stuff they don't they can be left empty unless you want to add an ability that's based on them in which case you got to populate them um, so I've also been uh, modifying the modifiers the modifiers go in this file and this is like the newest upgrade to the generator it really speeds things up so I've been going down and uh, the Burrell deals 8% bonus damage to destroyers and takes 8% reduced damage from destroyers. So you put the tag in the mods folder. Mods have to be separated by a semicolon. And then you just go to the modifiers tab and uh, there's two sets. There's the destroyer. So this is the tag. Th this, is, this is the attacker. This is the defender. And then this is the modifier. And these, these are separated by semicolons. So a destroyer attacking something with dest 8 deals 92% damage because that's 8% reduction. A destroyer attacking something with dest 16 does 84% damage. And then they also have their own entries for attackers here because these do both. So something with dest 8 against a destroyer deals 108. Something against dest 16 deals 116. And this, this method is the fastest way to add passes that I've found and like there are a couple weird ones like I just came across the Laval with Borg Mixtech deals 20% bonus damage to everything that's not Borg so I made this no Borg 20 
Dominion Federation Klingon Romulan. 1.2, 1.2, 1.2, 1.2. It's beautiful. I'm very proud of it. So that is something I've been going through. Like I've been looking through and like checking up on the stats, using the Fleet Ops website, and also sometimes looking at the weapon files themselves. And I've been making my way down, um, and I have completed all the small ships. So I have made it to. Uh, I did the Laval, and I think I did the Defiant. Yeah, and I left a little note here. Uh, Completed up to this point, 5722. 5, so I've done up to the Intrepid. And then the rest... Oh, so I guess I didn't do the Defiant yet. Um, so basically, that is one... That's that's the second level of complexity, if you feel up for it, um, where you would just go through these and you would look them up in the guide. Um, for some of the mixed text variants, you got to look it up in the mixed text section of the guide, which doesn't always describe it perfectly. But what you can do is you can check the ODF file and be like, uh, Romulan Laval with a uh, Borg tech. And uh, it's got a passive called, uh, where was it? Oh, did it not even have one? Okay, well, it doesn't. Sometimes they do, you, you'd be like, you know, oh, it has a single stage. And then you'd go open that up and you'd look it up. Single stage and then in the UTF. And that's where you see that, oh, look, it's 30% uh, damage against medium range and uh, minus 50% resistance against weapon disabling effects. But I haven't put that in, obviously. So that's one of the, that's a way that you can like figure out exactly what these other things do. That was a terrible example. A better one would have been like Federation Monsoon, you know, because like the veteran Monsoon gets a bunch of bonuses. So you'd be like, hey, look, Monsoon rank six. It's got six shield and optimized shields. And then you'd go six shield. And you just have to, you have to have these, I have these memorized. I also have like a hex uh, file. Ta-da, that's what the hex means in numbers. So I'd be like, oh, look, it, oh, and BB is plus. Yeah, so, oh, look, it's 6% uh, resistance against pulse and beam. And then this one is 12% resistance against pulse and beam. So like once you figure out the numbers, you would just make up a new tag to go in here with the semicolon add a new modifier to the list. You do that by uh, inserting new lines is how I like to do it. And then blah. Uh, Dominion. Five times damage versus Dominion. And then anything that has blah. Now the uh, Defiant Romulan at rank five deals five times damage to Dominion. It's it's really that flexible. Like I say, it took a long time for me to figure out the best way to do this. So, uh, oops. Ah. So that is the method for doing that. Now, the, the third thing that I'm doing, oh, and, and there's also custom ones over here, by the way. Um, these are uh, things that have to be based on stats. Um, and these ones currently have formulas. So like projectile weapons deal 5% bonus damage for every point of defense below 20. So most of these are going to be nothing. But some of the smaller ships, projectile weapons deal a little bit of bonus damage to them. And then ammo lock-on, you have to manually put. You basically just, if the ship has a torpedo weapon, you put that number there. That is for the rank 6 S2 escort cruiser that deals... 12.5% bonus damage to anything that has a torpedo on it. And uh, these are actually out of date because I, I added lines. So, like, you will come across stuff that's broken, like there. Like, oh, look, that's that does not get it. And the griffin does not get it. Uh, well, those are different. And then, like, the siege cruiser does get it. So, uh, in this case, to not mess up my fancy formatting, I'm just going to paste value. Bam. So that needs to be fixed as people go. Um, 
Actually, yeah, because like the officer defiant has torpedo weapons. So it needs to go like that. Paste value. Done. Um, armor piercing. This is uh, this is the one that the original is actually based on hit points, and I wasn't able to do it. But I talked to Admiral Nat, and he had a very good idea, which was 1% uh, uh, bonus damage for each point of defense. So if it has 42 defense, deals 42% bonus. And obviously the, the rank 4 version is half as strong, so it's five uh, half a percent. Um, I also add these lines. Anytime you want to get rid of a horizontal line, the best way to do that is to find a line like that that doesn't have a line, that kind of thing, that does not have a, a line at the bottom, copy it, and then uh, paste formatting. Okay, that didn't do it. Paste formatting, ta-da, and that'll get rid of the line. And then you can just add lines back however you want. But like I said, that's not really required, that's just my own sanity. Um, color coding, uh, the purple color represents things that were not in the base files, which I have added for convenience. So I've added like some background profiles. Um, also, for example, here, like the base game has an Intrepid Y and Intrepid Z, but it didn't have a base Intrepid, which I just added because I could. Um, and all I had to do was like copy the values from, you know, it has the, mon it has the Mason's offense and it'll have the Risner's defense. So like, you know, you can figure out the stats for that. Um, and then yeah, attack layout is uh, these are the Rien refits officer bonus, and it's basically just uh, uh, oh, that's not right. Oh, look at that! I have to fix something. So uh, the uh, it's twenty six. That's why. So this is just if the speed is below one hundred twenty. Uh, he gets a bonus, but that act, this is actually supposed, supposed to be 26 for the full version. So when you do that, uh, actually, I'd, I'd probably rather you guys don't mess with these. There's not many of these in the game. There might not be any more of these customs in the rest of the game, but uh, I would just copy it, scroll to the bottom, paste formula, bam, uh, and that, uh, yeah. That's actually wrong because, oh, it's zero. Um, I'll have to do this. Uh, K3 equals zero. There we go. That is because uh, tactical layout does not do bonus damage to stations. It doesn't do bonus damage to anything with speed zero. It's only ships that have below. So there we go. Fixed it. So now, yeah, it's not going to trigger for any stations, but it will trigger for ships that have speed below 120. And it will do 13% or 26% bonus damage, depending on the rank of the re -end. So yeah, you guys won't have to mess with those, just showing how those work. Now the third thing that you guys could work on if you would like is the offense values. And these are currently backfilling from the weapons. So what I've got here is all of the 327 damage numbers in the game. And then these are all the Admiral's Edition damage numbers. And this thing will highlight differences. Uh, and I, I changed the order of these. So like, you can like cut and then insert cut cells like to reorder these rows as long as you keep them in the exact same columns it'll be okay um, so like they're kind of out of order because I was messing with them but it, I'll find an example here we go so uh, beam adapters were added in Admiral's Edition and they're not in the base game um, so it just highlights it in orange that it's like that and also torpedoes that have an A at the end uh, these are special Borg torpedo modules, which don't do anything in 327, but in Admiral's Edition, uh, they do a bonus damage. So right now I've been going 327, but you could do Admiral's Edition. Also, there haven't been any differences. Like 
in all of the small ships, there's no differences between 327 and Admiral's Edition. So when you guys come across things like, like it's about to come across the adapter. So if you want to do these, well, let's, let's just look at that. So I would take this chunk. Uh, there we go. I've got all the adapters. I'm going to cut and go up here. Uh, doesn't matter, so I'm just gonna insert cut spell, cut cells. The entire thing freezes for a minute because it's recalculating a lot of stuff. Uh, this is because all of the damages, or all the weapon offenses are calculated off of damages, and all the ship offenses are calculated off of weapons. So I'd look at this and I'd say, oh, okay, so these, there's this many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm just going to add these because uh, even if you are doing it for 327, it doesn't matter if you have extra entries. So uh, we'll just go to here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Insert. Shift cells down. Whole thing freezes for a minute. <laughs> there we go. Uh, let's cut paste, freeze. You'll note that these are not actually the weapon uh, numbers. These are just the ships over here. And then whatever's in this area will become weapon one, weapon two, weapon three. And if you do multiple lines for something, it'll keep going. So like if you did a second line for the same ship, it would be weapons four, five, and six. So uh, let's see. I'm just going to copy, paste values, find and replace, o.odf for .odf, right? That should be fine, right? Yeah. Place. Cool. Oh, wait, I'm being stupid because yeah, I also don't need the secondary weapons. So I can do uh, that. Oh, I gotta do the A weapons. Wow, the one I chose as an example turned out to be a pain because it's got special weapons associated with it. Oh, because it's got these these A torpedoes. Uh. Uh, you know what? Don't don't mess with the A torpedoes for now. I'll figure out a method for them because I totally forgot, because they're not used in 327 or in Triptych's mod. They're only in Admiral's Edition. So don't don't worry about them for now, and I'll, I'll fix them out later, Admiral. <laughs> anyway, uh, once you have your ships here... Um, why are you... Did my rule get messed up? Yes, it did. Uh, so this should just be A through S. You guys don't have to worry about this. I will fix this. Uh, so yeah, those are just my formatting tricks. Uh, it makes empty cells go gray. It makes cells that are different from the cell above them go green. And it makes cells that have formulas go blue, which is just a good way of keeping track when I hand jam something, because if I hand jam it, it turns black. So uh, now that we have our adapter modifiers, uh, we have the OBF file, which is uh, here. So, and you don't need to worry about this yet, but basically all it is is uh, it's, the, it's the other part of it. It's the first half of the file. So uh, it'll basically just put this text into it when the generator runs. So we just go, it's a beam, it's a Borg beam. And it's got the beam tag. Gosh. I'm making so many more mistakes when I'm recording than I normally would, but that's going to freeze it up for a minute. I'm going to put it back. Okay. 
So beam, paste value. Now here's the tricky bit is you have to look up these delays by hand. Most of them are good, but I changed some of them for Triptix mod and then they're having to change back. So you do need to double check these. Uh, actually, sorry. So Borg weapon adapter E, and these are all gonna be the same. Oh, I don't have E here. So uh, shot delay two, oh, it is different. So, two. Uh, I also added these. Fine. And let's cut it up there. So, yeah, I'll change these to two. And what it does is <clears throat> it's going to V lookup the damage of the weapon from over here e there we go um, oh actually you know what these are torpedo weapons in this version yeah these are grab because it's a beam wet it's a beam ship in triptix mod but in 327 it's a torpedo ship so we will go two, we'll actually go torpedo. We'll go, there's gonna be a pyramid or something down here, right? And this is one of the things, you, you can just copy paste stuff most of the time, as long as you know where to get it. Ah, there we go. Uh, there, forward time. So, adapter, Borg weapon torpedo. Oh, and actually, uh, got rid of my formulas. In fact, I'm going to do this. I'm going to take this whole row and paste formulas. There we go. Should have. That's the other thing. I, I did it kind of wrong. What you really want to do is, uh, in fact, let's not do that. Let's do this. Instead of adding new rows, uh, you usually actually just want to copy one of them, like copy all of these cells, control C, and then just like insert copied cells. That's probably the better way if you actually have to add rows to this, because then it keeps all of these formulas in place. Okay, so now we've got, in fact, let's uh, open this up. Mods, Admiral's Edition, ODF, Borg Weapon, Adapter B. So, Weapon 1 is a torpedo, Weapon 2 is a beam. So, we can go uh, 2.1. Number. I think that's the only ones you had. B E B O B R. No, there's B T. So uh, copy. Insert copied cells. Shift down. And then I'll turn that into B E. So after the program. So, yeah, so first V lookups the damage from over here. So, I'm going to go ahead and flag the. I guess I'll just use red text to show off that it's not actually in regular, but I'll just copy value. Bam. So, now over here, uh, might need to reload. Oh, the numbers. Numbers don't belong here, my bad. There we go. So now it pulls the damage from here. It calculates based on the shot delay. Uh, and actually, I can uh, borg uh, beam o, BF. Bam. Paste value. Beam. 
So yeah, it just uh, it looks up the damage based on the shot delay. It gives you a offense value. Right now, these are based on this damage constant. You could change it if you need to tweak. It's kind of weird. This is where the errors come into play, but it's it's an estimate. This is roughly the damage constant that uh, 327 uses. And then you do uh, weapon number. Weapon number. And that is the number of that weapon on the ship. So, uh, yeah, adapter. So there's one of these and there's one of these. Bam. So once you have that marked, you can go back to the ship one and it will have pulled it. So now, uh, oh, because I've been messing around, uh, 10.odf replace with nothing. 20.odf replace. Uh, that, 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 and that, and that. Delete. Cool. Oh, I gotta add that line too. So, uh, E. Actually, do I? No, I don't, because the this is the this is the double EM adapter with the dome. And while it does need a defensive profile, it does not need. Come on, it doesn't need a weapon, because this uses the regular weapon. I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, there is no EEM. So I don't need a weapon entry for the EE underscore M because this one's using the regular weapon. Um, so yeah, I've got, uh, yeah, that worked pretty well. I just added four variants that Admiral's Edition adds. I've got the ship, and here we go. The ships are pulling their offense value mostly correctly. T-O. Oh, uh, okay, I still got a bunch I need to add. This is because I removed them in Triptix mod, so I got to re-add. So let's just uh, see what this looks like. Uh, o, O, actually, yeah, I'll just do this one. So E, O, 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 T, O. I'm not going to put them in order for now. Sorry for being lazy, guys. Actually, no, I can't, I guess. I'll figure it out. Okay, so I made a mistake. There were two entries that said RE on them. I fixed it. I'm going to cut the video ahead because basically there's one, two, three, four, five, not that one, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve ship copies here. And in the weapons file, there's also twelve. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And uh, eight of them are from Fleet Ops 327, and four of them are from Admiral's Edition. And as you can see, we have populated the stats correctly. Now what I will do here, since this is a copy of this one, I'm going to do equals that cell, and then I'm going to make it bold, uh, just to indicate that that's what I did. And like there's a couple up here where like, yeah, like the, the Venture S, which is the starting scout. Hey. Um, it's, just, it's just equal to the cell, and I made it bold so that you can tell. And then sometimes I just added it by hand based on other factors. So that is the third thing that you could do if you would like to help out with this project. Is uh, and it, it won't normally be that hard. So you would basically yeah you would just go Akira uh, check the back. So oh these are actually uh purple because they weren't in the original and honestly things like that you can just leave I'll fix them later but yeah you would just go through and be like oh look the Acura is pulling its beam weapon it's pulling its torpedo weapon and it's auto populating with offense values um, the the M there is no special weapon for M so the this will be equals that 
copy it, paste formula. And this will also be a paste formula because it's just going up one level. And also bold. And then, yeah, so. Paste formula, bold. And now we've pulled the offense for the Acura. And I'm pretty sure we go to the guide page and uh, that's not a damage modifier and that's not a damage modifier. Although that is a special ODF entry. So what I would do is in the weapon, it needs a different one. I will mess with that on my own. So you don't need to do that. Basically what I'd do is I would make a new uh, ODF here or OBF that would say like damage mode two or whatever. And that would make it so that the veteran Acura torpedoes ignore shields. But I will, I'll mess with that. So I, I've rambled a little bit. Oh wait, oh yeah, and okay, there are M's, but the M's do not do anything. So in this case, they can just be deleted. Or you could just copy these values over if you want. Like if you just copied that and then paste it as text. Yeah, let's not do that. Nah, we'll, we'll do it the other way, sorry. It, when, when you guys are working on this, I, don't, I wouldn't mind if you did it either way, but I will paste value and uh, that's not the right one, it's this one. I would paste value and paste value. Oh yeah, also in Triptix mod I changed the animation of the Dominion Mixtech version to use Dominion torpedoes instead of Federations, but technically it should be Federation ones. There we go, bam. And then uh, I would actually just copy this back fix this formula so formula no bold there now it does it yep so that's the other way so yeah that's the Acura done on to the next one and uh, I'd uh, move my little thing here oh I didn't look through the Defiant but I did though the Defiant's good uh, does the Defiant get anything quantum torpedoes Ah, it does. Uh, pulse weapons, double damage to small targets. So, in order to advance my little indicator, I need to... Now, it's not all the weapons, it's only the pulses. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to go defiant. Pulse, semicolon, chen field. Did you just delete my stuff? Yeah, did. Dang it. Shenfield. Uh, oh wait, it's only the veteran. So veteran, veteran, paste value. Paste value, yay. And then I go modifiers, insert, oh, crap. Shenfield, small, two. It's, it's that easy. So now uh, veteran defiant pulse weapons Oh yeah, and uh, it actually doesn't need the Chen Field OBF because that was a Triptix mod thing. Oops. Yeah, so now, uh, Veteran Defiance, their pulses deal do two times damage to uh, small stuff. Oh yeah, and the Chore actually needs one too. Wow, I'm doing this horribly out of order. Um, Wait, small, 20, because that's what the chore does. Small, 1.2. Okay, so yeah, this is just the process that I go through 
Um, oh, you're not pulling off its values though. Oh, because it's all the, the chore. Uh, we'll just break it out. into chore Y and chore Z. Copy the damage value as value. Copy format. Re-add the line there. Now we've got three different beams, three different things. They're pulling equals that equals that. Bold. Yeah, so there I just did the chore, the adapter, and the Acura, and the Defiant. All in one little session. So yeah, like I say, this is the kind of thing that I, I, I'll work on myself as well. Um, but it's just, it's just going to take me a while to get through all of it. So once again, just a quick recap of the things you could help with if you would like. Um, the most, and anybody, anybody on the Fleet Ops Discord, anybody who accesses the uh, link I'm going to post to get this document, I'd prefer you not, I'd prefer you download it and work on it in, set, in Excel instead of actually modifying it from Google Docs. I'll figure out a method. Honestly, if you want to work on it at this point, you can just contact me because I'm, I'm around and I'm talking actively. So first thing I could use help with is just going through here and just hand jamming in defensive values. Second thing I could use help with is going through and adding passives and, and turning them into modifiers. And then the third thing is going through the weapons line by line and uh, um, going through these, double checking the rate of fire on these weapons. Um, pretty sure these are still 2.5 and 3, um, but they do need to be double checked and then uh, Weapon 1, 2.5, weapon 2, 3. Okay, cool. Um, just once they're double-checked, or in some cases they might need to have new lines added or even removed. Um, so just going through here and updating the weapons and making sure that everything has pulled its offense value correctly from the other side. Uh, yeah, so like, for example, yeah, like Generics Y exists in 327, but it doesn't exist in Triptych's mod. So you would copy this block insert copy and actually these are not even projectiles in this version they're torpedoes so you'd have to change it to torpedo uh, bricks bricks y bam and you'd have to change the rate of fire um, you'd have to change, you know, for if it doesn't pull from over here, you would just copy the values from the top set. Or maybe there aren't even generics Y weapons. Maybe it just uses the regular weapons. Uh, and like, if you come across anything you don't get, you can just skip it. That's fine. I'll go back and fix it. My point is just the third thing that I could use help with is just updating these weapons uh, with the correct rate of fire the correct weapon type for stuff that I changed for Triptix mod. And if anyone wants to help me with these three things, it'll make the project go faster because uh, as you can see, I'm about a third of the way through the list. And uh, if we reach the bottom, I mean, the, the station's relatively easy. So like if we reach the bottom of this list, then this will be a functional ODF generator and you'll be able to do whatever you want with it. Um, for 327 and Admiral's Edition, because I realized uh, because Admiral's Edition adds, there's very little that Admiral's Edition modifies. It mostly just adds stuff. So if you make a if you make it with the Admiral's Edition stats, it's basically the same as the 327 stats, except for a couple Borg torpedo things and stuff. Uh, yeah, like because if you add extra lines, that doesn't break it for 327. It'll still work for 327. And you can always, you know, right click, insert comment, or just leave a text box saying, hey, Triptych, I worked on your stuff. Just like that. 
Um, oh yeah, it'll even make it orange if you put it there. <laughs> um, yeah, if you guys want to work on that, uh, yeah, just let me know. Uh, this is Trippic signing off.